Now, hello, this is a short note about the free apps for a Mac or a PC. These are computer apps for a Mac or PC that are free from StarPath that run or that can display the data from our new USB barometer. And uh, the USB barometer, let me just show that device first. Here is what this is. It's a high, very high precision barometer. Um, okay, so then that's the app. It comes in a metal container like this. It's a USB stick. You plug it in. Now, that's designed, in a sense, to run in any navigation app like uh, OpenCPN, QTVLM, Expedition, Coastal Navigator. Any standard navigation app is what this is, in a sense, for. But if you don't have a navigation app or you want to do both, purposes navigation app plus extremely versatile paragraph app then this I'm talking about the app now and you would get the app uh, when you go here there's a there's a link to go here and here's where you download the map where you download the apps and this is just a full copy of the uh, of the help file and then when you download it and install it on your computer this is what the icon looks like and also Something you could do, since this stores the data and runs in the background for Macs and PCs, what, I, what I've done on ours and what I'd recommend is you can set up in the startup menus for both computers that it automatically loads the Paragraph app when you start the computer. And then you don't have to do that. You don't have to watch it. You can just push it aside and let it go in the background or whatever. But then you're carrying a trace of the pressure. And this is, a, this, is a, this is the way the app looks. This is over the past 30 minutes display. Then you can look at three hours. Now in the three hour display, in the three hour display, let me get that off the picture for a minute. Um, well, here we go here in three hour display. You see that three, three millibars per three hours. That's, the, that's computing for you the official tendency. That's a, this is a three hour display and that's how much the pressure changed. The pressure is rising. You see it's rising three millibars in three hours. And um, that, and then so we have that to measure the official pressure tendency. These arrows here are a big view of just the trends in the pressure. And then I will refer you to the very detailed help file that we have here as a help file. And then in the bottom, somewhere down here in the bottom of this, you will see these are the explanations of what these trend arrows mean. One arrow means it's uh, steady. And uh, this one means it's rising one to two millibars in three hours. That's, that's an anticipated rise of one to two millibars in three hours based on what you saw in the last hour and so forth. And this is of, of rising fast and extremely fast and so forth. So that all data is here. And so here's the sort of general thing you have. This is dropping like that. You take notice, something's going on. This is actually a warning. And these are already, it's too late. You're already uh, beyond uh, forecasting. So that is, and then these icons here, this takes you back to the graph. And then you can look at the display over the past three hours, 30 minutes, six hours, 12 hours, two days, something like that. Once you're here, then you can read what's on the, what's been stored like this by moving this mouse cursor. I'm just moving the mouse cursor. Or you can, you can um, uh, drag the curve, or let me just say, I'm rolling it with the mouse. You're rolling it, you can zoom in with the mouse like that if you care to, and then left click and drag the picture around, or double click to recenter. So there's some versatile display functions there. The instrument also, of course, records the position of the device, assuming you're in a vessel moving. It records the position of the device at the same time it records the pressure, so that you can, you can evaluate how things are changing. We have uh, various videos and discussion of that. And so then you can also see, see the data digitally. This is a record of that. These are the data files here. So in the past, well, say in the three hour interval, this is where the data, this is all the data, and it's got the time, the time, the pressure, 
and also if you're moving, you have the cog and sog. And you can export you can export that either as a GPX file, which only means something if you're moving. And if you're moving, then you can actually export this file and drag and drop it on your nav program or Google Earth or something like that, and you'll see the actual track of where <coughs> of where you were. So it's a uh, um, uh, and then you see how the pressure is at a different location. Or you can just export it here. If I click this and go to downloads, it's going to, uh, it's going to download. I could just, well, for now, I'll just say whatever that is and say save. And then that's that data is all saved. And then you can, uh, let's see, open that, say, in a spreadsheet. This is a two-day pressure display. That's what that looks like. Again, this is a case where uh, we're not moving and so forth. So all these data are stored. This is the setup. This is the setup screen where you choose, you know, how if you want a dark display or it's uh, whatever, uh, light. Uh, cha change your units that you want, uh, the precision of the display. Uh, and so forth. The elevation. Now you can choose to display sea level pressure or station pressure. The, the sea level pressure takes the station pressure and corrects it for the elevation that you have here, and that's all stored here. It also gives you the opportunity here to just display an offset. Let's say for the you want to, you know, the thing is like a millibar below, you know, above sea level right now. Uh, 12 feet above, well, millibar, that's actually a big boat. Uh, there's a jingle, 0.44 per floor, and we call floor 12 feet. So if your uh, barometer is 12 feet above the water level, you could offset the pressure by 0.44, and uh, in other words, raise the if your if your if your barometer is 12 feet above the water, then you would raise the pressure by 0.44 millibars, and then you'd be reading sea level pressure. And by the way, that's all explained in this very detailed help file, which is like a mini uh, lesson on use of barometers. So, but this is just a display offset. It doesn't change anything. It just shows what you're displaying, like that. You could also do the same thing by just going in here and making this feet offset 12 feet and so forth. Now, there is another option. I don't want to get into that. I'm going to have a special video on that. But you can actually change the inherent calibration of the sensor itself that's in the USB barometer. You can change it. And so you, you change it permanently. You can undo it if you want to. But if you sometime in life decide that that sensor is not reading the right pressure, which is going to be very tricky because it's very high accuracy to begin with. But if you somehow decide that, you can change the calibration yourself. You can, in fact, put in a, um, a two-point calibration and add a slight slope to it. But this is very rare business, and I'm not, I'm not going to do that now. So let's see with the rest of the setting. Oh, all that calibration stuff is done back here. Okay, so that's that. I won't, the other thing, and I'm not going to, I'll have a separate video on this, but if you go to the setup and the connection setting, this is, a, this is a way here to export the pressure, at the position, position and pressure if you want to, from this device. But the, the, the USB barometer is not measuring your position. That you have to get from somewhere else. It's just a pressure. But you can, in fact, wirelessly transfer that pressure to nearby devices. And I'll show that. It works very well. And I'll show how you do that in a later, later option, later video. But that's just a, uh, a quick overview of uh, how this, uh, how you can view uh, how you can view this, uh, the output of this device, this simple device here, uh, uh, into a, a sophisticated uh, Bear Graph app.